Good day students! So in module 1, we will be discussing about the introduction to conic section and circle. Conic section is defined as the curves formed from the intersection between a plane and a double right circular cone. Suppose we have a double right circular cone, consider the following parts. First, the upper nap, which is the ice cream cone-like. Then the lower part, which is like a party hat, is called lower nap. Then the generators, the axis, and the vertex. If a plane will be used to cut the double right circular cone, there will be curves formed as the intersection. If that case will happen, we need to consider the following. First, if a plane does not intersect the vertex of the double right circular cone, then it will form the following conic sections. First, the parabola. The plane is parallel to one of the generators. Next is the circle. As you observe, the plane is perpendicular to the axis. Third, the ellipse, which is the plane is not perpendicular to the axis and is not parallel to any of the generators. Plus, the hyperbola. If you're going to observe, plane cut both upper and lower nap. Next, if a plane intersects the vertex of the double right circular cone, then it will form the following degenerate conics. First, the point where the plane is at the vertex. This is also called as the generate ellipse. Next, the line where the plane lies to one of the generators. This is also called as the generate parabola. Last, the intersecting lines where plane passes through the vertex and perpendicular to the base. So this is also called as the generate hyperbola. Note that the point, line, and intersecting lines are also possible results of the intersection of a plane and a double right circular cone. However, it is obviously they are not curves. That is the reason why they are not conics but are referred to as degenerate conics. These are some real life example of a conic section. For circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. Let's proceed to equations of conic sections. One manner to symbolize a conic phase is through a well-known quadratic equation in x and y in the form of ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero, where a, b, c, d, e, and f are constants, and a, b, and c are not all zero. We will be only discussing conic sections whose axes are parallel to the x-axis and the y-axis. The equation for those sort of conics will don't have any x-y term. So if b will have a value of 0, then the general equation of the conic will be in the form of ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0, where a and c are not both equal to 0. So let's try it with some cases for us to easily identify if it is circle, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, or simplic, what conic section? So circle with the case A is equal to C, then parabola, A is equal to 0, or C is equal to 0, and AC is equal to 0. Ellipse, A and C have the same sign, A is not equal to C, and AC is greater than 0. Then hyperbola, a and C have opposite signs, and AC is less than 0. So we'll have example number 1. 
x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y plus 12 is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1. So note that a and c are equal, therefore, the conic section is a circle. Number 2, we've given 6y squared minus x plus 12y plus 15 is equal to 0. So as you can observe, we don't have any value for a, so therefore a is equal to 0 and c is equal to 6. Note that in the case a is equal to 0 and ac is equal to 0, therefore the conic section is a parabola. Number 3, we've given 9x squared plus 4y squared plus 12x minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 0. So we can see that a is equal to 9 and c is equal to 4. Note that a and c are not equal but they have the same sign. Also, if we're going to multiply a and c, it is greater than 0. Therefore, the conic section is an ellipse. Last, we given negative 2x squared plus 3y squared minus 3x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. So, observing the equation, we're going to have a is equal to negative 2, c is equal to 3. So, note that the signs of a and c are opposite and if we're going to multiply a and c, we're going to have a negative number, therefore it is less than 0. Thus, the conic section is a hyperbola. Done! Thank you for watching!